What's up guys, welcome to AB Auto. Now today we're gonna to be doing a super simple engine bay clean. Now, just a heads up guys, this is not a super intensive engine bay clean. This is more of a light refresh to an engine that's not too dirty. We're gonna be taking all the plastic trim, we're gonna be making it look brand new, shiny. And it's also gonna prevent future fading. Now, even though this is just a light engine bay detail, you'll see on my C43 right here, the results have been brilliant. Let's check it out. Okay, so today we're gonna to be using two main products from Autoglim. The first one is the engine and machine cleaner, followed by vinyl and rubber care, which is really gonna give it that nice clean shine. So before we begin, I'll just give you guys a quick look at how my engine bay is looking here in the C43 AMG. The car is only two years old, so it's not that bad, but it's starting to look a bit mucky and tired, so it could really do with a nice clean. This video is for those that are looking to clean up their engine bays, but don't want to risk hosing it and using lots of water due to all the electrical components. So before we begin, I always recommend a good pair of disposable gloves. I always make sure I have a box of these. It avoids any irritation if you have sensitive skin, but I mainly wear them so I don't have to scrub any black off my hands after finishing the detail. The first thing you need to do is remove anything thin around the engine bay. You'll usually find things like dried up leaves, twigs, anything that might have fallen through the gaps over the seasons. I make an effort to carefully look around all the gaps and look for anything like this while also familiarizing myself with the dirtiest areas. Before we start using any of the product, I recommend taking a basic spray bottle filled with water and squirting small amounts of water in those hard to reach areas to lift up any large areas of surface dirt. You can use a microfiber cloth to carefully wipe the water and dirt away once it lifts and spills out. If you need to get more stubborn dirt in tighter gaps, I would recommend using a detailing brush. With the small spray bottle, it's much safer than the hose because you have complete control and can make sure you only spray small amounts of water in specific places. Now it's time to start the clean. Spray the engine cleaner directly onto the engine bay using its wide spray pattern. This product's main focus is to remove grease, grime and stains. Combined with the vinyl and rubber care, our engine bay is gonna look like new once we're done. We then get to work and start wiping down with the microfiber cloth. Work your way around the engine bay focusing on one part at a time. Again, if you need to clean any tighter gaps or hard to reach spaces, I'd recommend using a detailing brush. But for the C43, the engine bay is mostly covered up, so a microfiber cloth does a nice job combined with the engine cleaner. Take your time to go around each section carefully, spraying as much degreaser as you need. If you're worried about spraying around the battery or just want to avoid overspray, you can spray the product directly onto a microfiber cloth. Then, using the same method, wipe down to remove any grease, grime and stains. Keep topping up the microfiber cloth with the engine bay cleaner and make sure you have enough product to remove the grease and grime. Once you've worked your way around the whole bay with your engine cleaner, now take the spray bottle and spray a controlled mist of water to help rinse off any remaining cleaner. Take a new microfiber towel and use it to wipe away the water and the remaining cleaner. Repeat this process around the entire engine bay. Now take your rubber and vinyl care and spray a generous amount onto the main engine cover. Work the products in using a clean, dry microfiber cloth. This is the fun part now where our engine bay is going to be completely transformed. Take the time you need to really bring out the deep black across the engine covers. Work your way around the engine bay, focusing on one section at a time until you're pleased with the finish.
Just a quick shout out to my website, petrolheadtees.com. As you can see, I'm wearing the C43 Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde t-shirt. These are all available and many more. We've got mugs, t-shirts, you name it. It's all on the website. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button because as always, it really helps me in the channel out. And I'd also like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. In fact, Amelia's got a special message for you. Say hi, subscribers. Hi, Grumpus. Yay! Say thank you, subscribers. Thank you, make one rev. Oh, well done. Should we do one more rev? Uh. Ooh. Uh, but I hear a daddy car. Thanks again, everyone, and take care. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>